Hello students, welcome back to JJ's physics class. Today we are going to study about distance and displacement. In the last class we have learned about motion. The simplest type of motion is motion along a straight line or one dimensional motion. Let us learn to describe this kind of motion by various examples. After going through each examples, you will come to know the difference between distance and displacement. Let us start. These are the topics will be covered during this session. Introduction to distance and displacement. Difference between distance and displacement. Consider the motion of an object moving along a straight line path. The object starts its journey from A, which is treated as its reference point. What is reference point? We already learned that, right? So the object moves from A and reaches B. So what is the total path covered by this object? Let us mark the movement from A to B by using green arrow. If we take each green arrow as 1 kilometer, so what is the total path covered by this object? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So what is the total distance covered by this smiley is what? 8 kilometer. The total path covered by this object, we call it as its distance which is denoted by small letter d. The numerical value of a physical quantity is its magnitude. So here it is 8 is its magnitude. Let us consider another example. If each mark is 10 cm, then what is the distance between the girl and the boy? So each mark is 10. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 into 10, that is 90 centimeter is the answer. So what is the numerical value of its magnitude? It is 90 centimeter, that is the magnitude. So distance is nothing but how far an object has moved. It can be measured in kilometers, meters, centimeter or in millimeter. Another example is if the girl walks to the red ball that is from O to this red ball and then walks backward to the bear, how far has she traveled? So do you know how to calculate this? If each unit is 1 centimeter then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So from O to this red ball it is 110 centimeter. Then red ball to bear that is 1, 2, 3. So it is 30 centimeter. So what is the total distance covered by her is 140 centimeter. That is the distance traveled by her from O to this ball then back to bear. From this example, can you find out the distance of the final position, that is bear, to the object from its initial position, that is O? This difference will give you the numerical value of the displacement of the object from its initial point to the final point. What is that? So this is the final point, that is the bear position, and this is the initial point. If you count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This will give you what the distance from initial position to the final position. So displacement is nothing but the distance of a body's change in position from a starting point. So what is the distance traveled by her? It is 140 centimeter. And her final displacement from its starting point is what? 80 centimeter. Let us consider another example. The object is moved from A to 
b so the distance travel here is 200 meter can you tell me what is the displacement here displacement is 200 meter to the right another example the boy started moving and he reached the point C then he went back and reached the point B what is the distance traveled by this body from A to B and what is the displacement of this boy from A to B as you can see here the total distance traveled by the boy is this is in meter so 1 meter 2 meter 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it is 9 meter from A to C and from C to B it is 1 2 3 4 so it is 4 so 9 plus 4 gives you what that is 13 centimeter is the total distance traveled by this boy what is the displacement here the difference between its final point to its initial point so from so what is here 5 that is the final point to the initial point is 0 so the displacement here is 5 centimeter to the right so distance is 13 meter displacement is 5 meter so displacement depends only on initial and final point which does not depend on the path taken by an object. Let us consider another example here. Then he moved back 25 meter. So initially the boy traveled from A to B that is 10 meter. Then from B to C it is 25 meter. So initial position is at A, final position is at C. So what is the distance traveled by this boy? So you can easily add up from A to B it is 10 meter, from B to C is 25 meter. So the distance is 35 meter. But what about the displacement here? It is the difference in its in the final point to its initial point. What is the final point here? C. That is 25 and initial point is 10. 25 minus 10 is 15 meter. But the displacement direction is to the left. So 15 meter to left. So displacement depends on its magnitude as well as its direction. But distance only depends on magnitude. Let us consider another example here. A tram leaves the depot and travels along its route and returns back to the depot. What is the distance and displacement here? Is easily you can calculate the distance traveled by this tram. 10 km, 10 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 70 and 80. The total distance traveled by this tram is 80 km. But what about displacement? The difference between the initial and final point. As you can see here, the initial point and final point are the same. So what about the displacement here? It has zero displacement. That means the tram has covered a total of 80 km. But its displacement is 0 km since it end up where it started. So it has 0 displacement. Another example. A cart moves along a straight line track of 50 meter. It stops and reverses for 10 meter. What is the displacement of the cart? What is the answer here? The displacement is 40 meter and the distance traveled is 60 meter. How did he get it? Find out. So what is the difference between distance and displacement? Distance is the total path covered by an object during its motion. But displacement only depends on the starting point and the ending point or initial point and the final point. 
Let us understand the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is nothing but the total path covered by an object. Displacement is defined as the change in position of an object. Distance is a scalar quantity which has only magnitude. But displacement is a vector quantity which has a direction and magnitude. I will let you know the difference between scalar and vector quantity in the coming classes. Next is the distance can have only positive values. Displacement can be positive, negative and even zero. We have already seen that. To calculate distance, the direction is not considered. So, it is a scalar quantity. To calculate displacement, the direction is taken into account. Formula distance is speed into time. Displacement is velocity into time. We will come to know the formulas in the coming classes when we study about speed and velocity. And the distance is denoted by small letter d. Uh, displacement is denoted by small letter s. What are the points to remember? Distance is the total movement of an object without any regards to its direction. It is a scalar quantity and has only magnitude. Displacement is defined as the change in position of an object which is a vector quantity which has both magnitude and direction. Do not confuse displacement with distance. They do not have the same definition but they can have the same value. If you like this video, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.